Kayla here with Girl Fight Talk, here with the Bantamweight Invicta champion. Congratulations on maintaining and retaining your title. Thank you, thank you. It was an incredible fight. I mean, I went into that fight thinking, okay, I know you had a lot of challenges considering you had all the drama behind the scenes, making sure that you got your decision overturned. How much of that played into a factor into the mental game into this fight? Um, you know, I, I think that for her to say that I like lost my confidence and I was frustrated and all this crazy, of course I was frustrated because I didn't think she earned that win last time without the ref's help. So of course I was frustrated, I didn't want to lose. But uh, to lose my confidence, no, I think I came into this um, same way my coaches came into this and, and knowing that if I just fought, I would come out with a win and if I was patient enough, I'd, I'd get to where I wanted to be and I'd start doing what I need to do. Mm -hmm. It actually reminded me of the Diaz-McGregor fight too. Uh, McGregor came into the situation, kind of ran into a, a road, you know, a, a roadblock where he found himself kind of figuring out his cardio again. It seemed like you had a similar situation going in in round one. How did you feel, what was the mental side of things going in and making sure you didn't get submitted again with that deep arm bar? Um, well, I don't, I didn't ever think she was going to get me an arm bar ever. I didn't think she was going to get me an arm bar the first time. So, uh, that wasn't like one of my worries. I think for me, it was just, uh, to get into a position where I'm in control and I can actually ground and pound. I felt like last time she did a lot of holding on to my arms and just stalemating it out, mm -hmm. you know, so that's something I was trying to avoid and just stay in position where I can keep striking and stuff like that. And obviously we got tangled in some weird leg situation and um, yeah like scissor scissoring and stuff right. whatever you want to call it but um that was awkward but aside from that uh you know I knew I eventually I would come back out on top and I knew that knee bar wouldn't work and I'd bend my knee and I'd come on top and start ground and pounding again and that's exactly what I did yeah totally last time we spoke you were on my show you said I asked you what was your goal for 2017 you said I just want to beat this chick yeah. What's the, okay, now that you've done that, what are the rest of your goals for the rest of 2017? Uh, just to win. The same goal as always, don't lose. Damn it, don't lose. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I think that's, that'd be the hardest thing in my career is to actually lose my title from Vic. I, I feel really proud of where I'm at, and I feel like I worked a lot to get to where I'm at. So, you know, that's something that I don't ever want to see as my belt go to somebody else unless, you know, willingly I walk away from it. But... Other than that, I want to hold on to it. All right. Congratulations on the fight. We will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Thank you.